Hello everyone, this is the Functional Dysfunctional Shul number 25, and I'd like to dedicate the words of Torah I'm about to say to the memory of a great leader, a great gadol, a great tzaddik, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Zecher Tzaddik Livracha, whose your site is today, Gimel Tamos. And allow me to share a vort about davening from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, what could be more appropriate than saying his Torah and his your site. In various sidurim that have more of a Kabbalistic twist, including the Siddur that was edited by the founder of the Lubavitch movement, the what's called the Admor HaZakain, the Alter Rebbe. It says right at the beginning of davening in the morning that you're supposed to say, Hareini mekabel alatzmi mitzvot ve'ahavta l'reyacha kamocha, that I accept upon myself the mitzvah of loving every Jew like myself. What does that have to do about davening? Davening is about what I say to God. And loving every Jew has to do with what I say to other fellow Jews. What does one have to do with the other? Explain to Lubavitcher Rebbe in the name of his father-in-law, who was also the Lubavitcher Rebbe, that what gives nachas more than anything to a father? What gives nachas to a father is to see his children playing together, getting along with one another. And ultimately, that's what this is all about. Namely, that before we come before God and ask Him, we need health, we need money, we need all the things we're going to ask for in davening, we need to show that indeed we're going to give nachas to God. We're going to give God what God wants more of, most of all, and that is that His kids get along. And therefore, we first and foremost make a statement that we accept upon ourselves a mitzvah that sometimes is overlooked, especially in the realm of shul where we think everything has to do with our relationship with God, so that God sees that his children get along with one another, and if that's the case, he'll also want us to get along personally for things that we ask for. I'm just going to add to his words that a minion is about people davening together, and if you want to daven together, you have to be one. You can't be nine, ten individuals in one room. And therefore, the only way to do that is to indeed have a situation where nine, ten people are one. If you indeed feel that and say that, then you have a minion. If not, then it's just ten individuals that happen to congregate in one room. There's a big difference between 10 people eating at the same dining room table, all invited to join the same meal, versus 10 people flying on a plane, each in their own seat. Each in their own seat means they happen to be on the same flight. But the eating at the same dining room table mean they're one group. And that's what we should try to strive for when we daven, to be a tzibor, to be a minion. And that's ultimately why, in my opinion, those words happen to be written in certain sidurim. You want to be a minion? You have to work on this first and foremost. And if you work on this, indeed you succeeded in being a proper minion.